Sports, it is Chris here with work to game and we have some updates around 4.3 on the website. Let's take a look. So the first thing we notice is of course that they have the lovely new image under the moonlight. Final Fantasy Patch 4.3, the trailer coming soon. I assume that they'll be launching that kind of with the hype going into part two of the live letter. So I think it's great that we have this whole themed thing. Uh, if you just go kind of Google Patch 4.3 Final Fantasy, it's pretty easy to get to the special page. Uh, and as we go through here, we do notice that they have updated some tabs. So the first tab we're going to click on is Return to Ivalice. And so the Alliance Raid Dungeon Return to Ivalice, we knew this is what it would be. South of Ravastrana in a remote corner of the Valmgard Seagapes, a fathomless maw that for centuries has slowly devoured the world around it, Reed Rana. Uh, whether you believe the Cataract Natural war Wonder or Demon Torn Gate to the very underworld, uh, journeys to her edge should be made with the utmost caution, seeing as those who have stumbled into the darkness have uh, have ever returned to tell their tale. An ancient spire once used by the Dalmaskins as a lighthouse raises defiantly above the churning mist waters to warn for, uh, forethoughtful and full-heartedly alike. It is into this spire that the transformed Ba Gamnen has fled. It is to this hell that you must follow. So, definitely telling us some lore, and they show us another image. This image looks an awful lot like the one that we saw during the live letter. Uh, this one was definitely in the live letter. And, uh, and we've got a little bit of some kind of new monsters here. Nice to see that. And if we kind of scroll back up, we can go to additional updates. So cross world link shells. We knew that this would be a thing. This is something that absolutely should already be in place. I hope that this technology is something that's going to allow them to move into things like cross world, like data center wide, things like, um, tells so that you can send a whisper to somebody that's something that would cut you past something like a party finder if you're in discord chat with somebody and you want to hang out with them uh like while we're streaming we always have to throw up a party finder and set it to private and put a password so that you guys can get in and we can make sure that the slot's held but if you could just send me a whisper and I could add you as a cross world friend from that whisper by right clicking on you and like add friend request and all that mess um, so the cross link world link shell should help kind of make that communication a little bit better we can make a cross world link shell for like streaming and, and other creators and things like that but I know that a lot of forum threads and and so on can now take place in game uh, so that should be really really nice nice and um, Glamour Dresser, uh, it is, this is going to be holding a greater variety of gear. Uh, clothing turned into Glamours can now be returned to their original form. We knew that this would be a thing. Uh, guest book housing, this is what they did kind of tell us about in the live letter, but it is nice to kind of get a feel for what this item is going to look like. See some screenshots here uh, so that somebody can stop by, say hello, leave a message for you. Hey, love the new decorations, whatever. Um, so that has all been updated here on this site. So we have our new dungeon, we have our main scenario. Uh, they have, of course, a start your free trial and buy now. So if you're sending friends there, that's a great way to find that. And so that does kind of tell us that this is going to be an interesting way that they can continue to develop patches and show us this information. Um, I hope that websites like this are something that they can trickle information out and we get beyond just the two live letters and they can keep this information flowing. So I hope they update it again tomorrow and the day after that. Um, coming late May, we, we still don't know exactly the date on the patch. Uh, it should be about 10 days from the second live letter. So as soon as we get the second live letter date, we can pretty much guess that it's going to be the Tuesday roughly 10 days after that. Uh, so that hopefully kind of helps fill that in for you guys. And so that's it. Just a quick 4.3 update. Uh, hopefully, like I said, we can continue to get more and the speculation can kind of be put to the side. I would love to see them surprise us with things. 
Uh, but 4.3 is kind of a middle of the patch cycle. And so, you know, is some 4.3 something that you're excited about? Definitely let us know in the comments down below. This has been Chris with work to game Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Hopefully you can catch us on stream now that we're streaming like every day. It feels like every weekday from 8 a.m. Central on, um, at least as of the time of this post. That's the plan. Check out the about section for a schedule that we're at least kind of hoping to target. Uh, so thanks again, and I will see you next time. Hey you, especially if you're a new face, welcome to the workforce. If you want to hit that subscribe button to say you like us, we'd really appreciate it. But there's a little bell next to it if you really like a channel, and you can go ahead and hit that if you'd like to be notified. Be sure that if that thing lets you know, hey, do you always want to be notified, or you just sometimes want to be notified, that you tell it, oh man, I actually meant by notified, notified. So why don't you give that a click, and uh, we hope to see you around in our next video.